Hi everyone, and welcome back to Amori. We've just finished uh, vanquishing Humphrey the Whale, the Evil Sea Witches, and here we are back on the outside. Um, as I mentioned last time, um, we finally completed the uh, the Hangman puzzle, the answer to which is, uh, is the Black Place. Uh, this one right here. Welcome to Black, or Black Space, rather. So, at this point, I think it would behoove us to start maybe checking through some of our, um, do another inventory of our, our side quests, I guess, just to, um, to see if there's anything else that we need to accomplish. Um, sure, wait, hang on a second, let's look back here real quick, I forget what... Okay, yeah, let's head back to Last Resort. Um... So I think we should do an inventory of the of our side quests, which means finding. Oh, that's an interesting place to come out. Um, coming here to Mari. Did we already get this? Um... Oh, we already. Yeah, we already got this one. This joke book. Checking with Mari to see what we have. do need your help. Yes. So, uh, incomplete. Rabbit killer is whatever. Hector, we still need to find the, um, Kel's missing rock. Weeping willow are the jokes, and that's just, that's just something that we'll find around the world. Uh, ghost party, we will just, yeah, we'll just see ghosts whenever we see them, so that, again, that'll just be, um, coincidental. Hesse... Um, we need to go to Sprout Mole Village. I'm always confused about which one is which. Sprout Mole Village, I, I think, is the one where Sweetheart is. Not the, uh... And then the colony is the one that we, uh... We found at random in the forest. And then Empty House. South of the playground. Yeah, that's... That's, that's gonna be the one that advances the plot, which we do not want to do right now. So why don't we head back to... To Sprout Mole's uh, village, I guess. And you know, it, it's just occurred to me. Another way that we could sort of um, check to see whether we have any other quests to accomplish is by checking our inventory. And even if Mari didn't mention it as one of our active side quests, uh, sometimes we pick up stuff ahead of time um, before the, the quest kind of initiates. So... Self-help guide, emotion card, uh, motion chart, VIP card, joke book, spooky map, sprout mole masks, matchbox, bad drawing, I'm not sure what that's going to be used for. Train pass can be used at the train station. Huh, have we used this before? It can be used at the train station. Maybe we should go check that out as well. And butt certificate. Um... I'm assuming train station doesn't mean Pluto's um, kind of express thing, right? I'm not sure. So let's find um, where is it? Let's let's find a way to fast travel. And I always forget where it is around these parts. It may not even be over here. Oh, here's the mailbox. Let's stop by there real quick. What do we have? This pool noodle. It has the potential to be a very powerful weapon. 5,000 clams. Uh, no thanks. What if I made the a little bit... 2,500? Mm, no, I don't think so. You still don't want it? At that price? Okay, I'm really cutting corners here, but here it goes. A thousand clams, take it or leave it. Fine, just to get you to, to leave me alone, I'll take it. It's probably garbage. We got a pool noodle. Yeah, let's take a look at it. I'm sure it's uh, 
I'm sure we just got ripped off, but you know what? It's completely useless. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I could have guessed. But you know what? We're completionists in uh, in some ways, so... Better the pool noodle you know than the one you don't. Oh, we haven't, um... We haven't taken a picture here yet. Here's us. Ta-da. Alright, great. I'm glad we did that. Alright, so... We need to find... Uh, let's hop in the taxi, I guess. Deep well, sure. That's gonna get us back to the surface, I believe. Here we go. Pluto's space line. So we'll jump from here over to... <clears throat> Other world, vast forest, firefly forest, and deep well. I guess we should go... We should go Pyrefly, right? Or, um... Actually, hang on. Let's let's go to the, to the Vast Forest real quick. I'm curious about this train ticket. So, um... Maybe we'll do Pessy's thing uh, in just a second. Alright, thank you very much. Hi everybody, here we are at the train station. So, uh, before there was a blockage here in front of the lemonade stand. There was a blockage no longer. Uh, lemonade, sure, I'll take some. Heal 75 juice, that sounds pretty good. Why don't we take, I don't know, five of those? Sure thing. Alright, good stuff. So here we are at the train station now. Stop right there, you can't pass without a... Whoa, that's a train pass. You must be the last passengers. We've been waiting for you for a very long time. Yeah, my bad. I've had this for a while. Well, that's an all clear for me. Welcome aboard, patrons. Thank you very much. Oh boy, where are we off to? Um, yeah. I guess so. I don't know where it's taking us, but... We may as well check it out. Here is not where the home is. It's strange. Case full of crosses. Bag full of berries. Case full of crystals. Case full of little bones. What the heck? What is this? Case full of spider webs. Dirt. Crosses. Alright, I'm starting to get the picture. Uh oh. Um... Maybe we should go to the front. I'm assuming this is the front, I don't actually know. Oh! What the heck? Is that a deer? Oh man, and we're still a little um, hurt from our last. Uh, what the heck? Still a little hurt from our last encounter, so. Afraid, huh? Okay. I think. I think Kel is gonna go first. Don't we have something that can, like, remove emotions from everyone? Dandelion? Removes emotion for friend or foe. What about this? Inflict anger on all friends. I feel like that could be useful here. We'll try that. And, um... I don't know, just attack. Gideon. Nope. 
Now it's a party. Gideon, I'm sorry. Who? Who or what? Ladies and gents, we have arrived at our stop. Welcome to Orange Oasis, where the moon shines brighter. Please exit the train in an orderly fashion. Thank you for your patronage, and please ride with us again. Man, that was like Willy Wonka's scary... Scary nightmare ride. I don't know if you've ever seen Willy Wonka, but he has a scary nightmare boat ride. Which this was. Alright, I guess we're getting off. Um, that was strange, but... We're in a very cheerful place, it looks like, so that's nice. Why the heck are we? You can smell the sugar. So it's strange because very rarely in this world do they refer to us by our real name. Gideon. Cowblin. Guava. I was waiting for the train for so long, I can't even remember why I wanted to come here. Hello. Wizzy Whitney. Yeah, I'm pretty fast, but not as fast as a train. It's important to know your limits. Keep on keeping on. Oh man, what do we have here? Canopy. I spy with my little eye. A rainbow umbrella thing with lots of legs. Which is yourself. Okay. Uh, are these free samples, or...? No. Big bread. Normal-sized fruit. Pamphlets for popular tourist destinations. Among them is an advertisement for a place called The Last Resort. Enjoy this luxury getaway. Bask in the finest amenities the world has to offer and leave truly transformed. Yeah, we know a thing or two about that. Orange Oasis, Land of Possibilities. Huh. How do you like that? Whoa, what the heck? Wow, I had no idea there was this whole other area. <laughs> That's kind of cool. We've got the Easter Island statue. We've got watermelons. We've got sprinkles and, like, frosting. Wow. Could this place be any better? It's the Big Apple. I get it. Apple juice. Thank you very much. Is there any way to get in there? Nope. Doesn't appear to be. Um, what's your deal? Oh, yeah, I recognize you. At last I am free. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Take this, it's a gift from me. We got a dandelion to replace the one... Oh, no, we actually didn't use it. We used the... Um... Can I use you to, to jump? Yeah. We used a... Um... Whatchamacallit? Wishbone. An air horn. Alright, what did we get here? Wishbone, wishbone. Here we go, luck plus seven. Mm. We've got better stuff. And what are these? Just boxes? Nothing that we can interact with, it doesn't look like. What is this guy's deal? Sand sculpture of a peculiar old geezer. Did we run into him before? I feel like he looks familiar, like we must have, but I can't recall where he would have been. Uh-oh. Big banana. Uh, we've got candy bunnies. Mango smoothie. Very good. We're just going to avoid these um, bunnies, if at all possible. place is bad for my cavities, but who needs teeth anyway? Ooh, it looks like this individual has something to say to us. Oh, it's a ghost, right? Beard ghost. Hmm. Wait, where was I going again? Dang it, my memory isn't what it used to be. Well, let me tell you, friend. I've got a place where it's happening. Here I come, all-you-can-eat buffet. 
All right, done our good deed for the day. These hollow spaces I mark. In them, I've hidden my most precious belongings. Yes, I smash my face to remember, <laughs> but lightly. Any harder and it would break. Smash, any harder and it would break. I'm picking up what you're putting down, so you're saying this is a job for Aubrey, because we've seen these faces before. Sorry. Your most precious possessions, including jam packets. Well, isn't that nice? I'll have to remember that uh, if we ever run across any more of these faces in the future. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Um... Parma... Dishonest? I don't know. Nacho cheese. Oh. Good one. I feel like that... That one should get, uh... Moaning Myrtle, or whatever her name is, to, to laugh. One day, this place could be a flourishing city. There's plenty of land for development. Yeah, it's basically the Wild West, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Perfection. Candy apples. That's probably up there for some of the more palatable stuff that we've had at uh, some of these picnics. Better than that questionable um, jello or whatever it was in Humphrey's stomach. Let's have a picnic. Why not? We've earned it. We've been through a lot. We're on vacation now. The brown sugar feels good on my feet. I almost want to pick it off and eat it. That's disgusting. Why would you even think that? You're so weird. It is a little weird. Kel doesn't, just doesn't think before he says them out loud. You could say, you could say that again. You should always think before you speak. Have some self-awareness. Says who? You, Miss Bossy Pants? I have plenty of self-awareness. I know where I am at all times. Which is where? Balance, guys. It's all about balance. Hero, you coward. That's the laziest answer I've ever heard. And I expected better from you. <laughs> How quickly they turn on him. Alright, very nice, very nice. I guess we should check in with the boss lady, huh? Hey, Mori, guess what? The sand here isn't sand at all. It's brown sugar. Yeah, we know that. Sure, it is hot out here, though. Remember to stay hydrated, everyone. Yeah, it's hurting my teeth just thinking about how all this is sand. Or is sugar, rather. I am stuck. I cannot get down. Well, good luck with that. Hope it works out for you. Um, alright. What else do we have to do around here? Avoid that, for sure. Guess we'll go up here. Um, let's see if we can get past this rabbit. Breadfruit juice. Good, good, good. Ooh, another, uh, club sandwich. I think we need Hero in front, right? He's the, he's the VIP. Hey, look at us. Man, I love the club sandwich music. It's probably, it's gotta be one of my favorite, um, Amori, uh, soundtracks. This atmosphere here is top-notch. I bet Ruben makes some good fruit juice. You're telling me. I'll take some. Let's lounge and get a... We usually get some kind of benefit from, from doing that. Plus, it's just plain fun. Five juice. Hey, look at us. Alright, what are your guys' deals? A giraffe in a jar? Loosen up a little. Breathe easy. It's time to cool those brain muscles with some tunes. Okay. Take a load off. Unwind. Welcome to Chillville. Cool. Okay. Well, looks like you got... I don't want to kill the vibe in here, so... No, no, no. This song is just fine for us. Make yourselves at home, kiddos. Any friend of Hero is a friend of mine. Nice. Alright, good for us. Well, we got a little extra juice. It's a nice place to hang out, so... Good to know it's here. What do we have here? You're not a watermelon. You're a wee cactus. Greetings. Thank you for talking to me. Oh, got a hundred clams. Well, gee, you're welcome. People, uh, people have never paid me to talk to them. But I feel appreciated. Alright. 
Oh, I recognize you guys. You're the pirate boys, huh? Captain Space Boy and some of the pirates went off somewhere with great urgency, but me and my dude here decided to look for his lost planet Pluto. Oh, we've seen him around. He was in the last resort. But I guess you don't care. A croissant is upside down and struggling to flip over. Uh, sure. There you go, buddy. Thanks. Um, oh, I get it. It's it's like croissant, but an ant, so it's like cross, croissant. Hmm. Well, that was weird. And this is also weird. But I say we jump feet first into weird. That's how you succeed at this game. Wow, what the, where the heck are we? This is like some sort of Egyptian, uh, like... Pyramid tomb deal. What the heck? Puzzle pieces? Brownie face, you should have listened. To what? Nobody warned me not to jump into quicksand. Oh, holy cow. Evil gingerbread men. Alright, I'll bite. No pun intended. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Do, 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 do. I guess painful truth in this dude. We're going to um, do AOE. We're gonna do AOE. And Hero just. Um, this guy's gonna take more effort to get down, probably. So, there we are. Very nice. 117. Oh, they, they are not very strong. I can confirm. I'd be surprised if that didn't do it, yeah. 133 XP. See, now we're back to a more reasonable, um, like, leveling system. Because before it was like a thousand XP or whatever, which is nice. But, uh, I guess it just goes to show that maybe this was an area we could have done a bit earlier. Because the XP is not as generous. But I'm enjoying it. This is a, this is a nice change of pace. Wow. Uh-oh. Sorry, couldn't resist. Damn you, frowny face. Oh boy. More of these guys. I mean, they're not really worth our time at this point, right? Because they're only like, what, 100 XP per... per battle? And we're so... we're so powerful at this point, or it takes so much for us to level up. Hey, we did it. Good for you. Thank you. I'm proud of myself. So those kind of low-level encounters are probably not worth it. Life jam. That's definitely worth it. Got a house shaped like a peanut butter sandwich. It's an invitation if I've ever heard one. Hello. Jelly. Miss Palme has been taking care of us forever. She's always been so loving and caring. I wish I could give her something super special. Such as, do you have any ideas? Hey, talking to you. Yep. Got it. Message received. Uh, I'll be look. Uh, I'll be on the lookout for a special item. What it could be, I couldn't possibly say. Call me. Welcome to my house. I take care of children who don't have family of their own. It's been a bit empty around here lately, so I always worry that the children who are left will start getting lonely. Well, good on you. That is a very worthy cause. Peanut. Alright. Good conversation. We will be on the lookout for something special. I am told. Uh, so this, is, this hatch is where we came out of. Oh, so we basically... Did we just teleport, like, up and to the left? Yeah, pretty much. Whoa, what the heck is this? What are you guys? Foxes? There's never, uh, just never a dull moment in this house. Isn't that right, Victor? Hmm. Hello and welcome. Please make yourselves at home. Uh, thanks. Adonis. 
My siblings and I dug a, a huge tunnel, but it has a secret entrance no one knows about. You want to tell us a bit more? Mom says if we misbehave, we'll be sent to the shadowy chasm. But whatever. I ain't scared of no monsters. That's sensible. Luke is asleep. Nova is uh, busy. I'm going to go find treasures at Dino's Dig later, but I better make sure it's okay with Mom first. Hmm. Alright, so Secret Tunnel, Shadowy Chasm, Dino's Dig. Got it. Things to be on the lookout for. We got a donut, appropriately enough. What are the chances we find something special in here, huh? Donut Grandma. My granddaughter rarely visits, but she sends me a postcard every now and then. She seems to be doing well. Thanks, Grandma. You're the best. Big donut. Oh, another donut, Grandma. Hmm. Now, what is this here? A donut hole. Oh, pardon me. All right. Um, before we go too much farther, let's keep clearing out whatever there is to see over here. What is this? Salami? Or like a, a roll of some kind? Sereno. Legends speak of a pair of twins who guard the orange oasis under their watchful eye. It is said that they have the power to raise the dead, among other things. I don't know if there is much truth about these legends, but wouldn't that be interesting? See, this confirms my Egypt theory. See these hieroglyphs up here? I knew I was I was picking up some uh, some py pyramidal pyramidal is that the adjectival form of pyramid uh, vibes. There we are. All right, uh, what do we have here? A treasure map. Ooh, I'm listening. Um, treasure map. Okay, so we have to be on the lookout for like two cow sphinxes, and then there's something in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, got it. I will be sure to try to find that. We're gonna have to get around this guy. Alright, all clear up top. Oh, hello. The dino of Dino's Dig, presumably. Can we talk to you from this side? Not appear to be. Uh, possible. Alright, how do we move these, um... Wheelbarrows, or I guess we just have to go around, huh? Grape soda. Excellent. Uh, we'll pause for a scenic overview, how about that? Let's check out the view. I'm always wondering if, if this is just purely for pleasure, or if there is anything that we should be uh, on the lookout for. So, very nice. Alright, we've got Dino's Dig out here, and here are those, um, some of those cow sphinxes. But I don't think they're in the right, uh, the proper orientation. What do we have here? Gallopot's Gastropod. Today's specials, orange juice, peach soda, and milk. Oh, and we almost missed the, uh, Mr. Mailbox here. What's up? What's up, boss? Alright, we got waffles. Ooh, these are new. Or a couple of these are new. 150 heart. These are the same, I guess. Designed to hold syrup. Not designed to hold syrup. Berry smoothie. Ooh, that's great. 60 to all friends. Let's get, like, uh, eight of those. Yeah. Okay. Air horn. That was pretty helpful. Life jam we got plenty of. Um, some of these individual heart healing ones I'm not as sold on, just because hero kind of covers that function for us. But, uh, but group healing and group juice recovery, I will certainly not say no to. Alright, there's Pluto's, uh, space thingy. Ricoli ravioli. Welcome to the orange oasis where the moon shines a brighter. I'm Rick. Gully ravioli, a food hobbyist. Hmm. Oh, we can probably actually go in here and take advantage of the, uh... Not for sale. Sorry. 
Would you like some fresh peach soda for 130 clams? I forget what the difference is. Sure, why not? Peach soda, peach soda. Peach soda, 60% of juice. That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right, I think we're I think we're good here. So before we go into Dino's Dig, which looks like a new major area, I propose that we um, not there that we take a look at whatever this is up here. And we'll take a look at this dude. Hey, uh, what are you doing? My name is Orange Joe, and I'm throwing oranges. Uh, why are you throwing oranges? Because I'm looking for my long-lost twin brother, Oragne Joe. We're separated at birth, but my citrusy heart, I know that he is still out there somewhere. Each orange is inscribed with a message explaining who I am and how to find me. I'm hoping by th throwing these in all directions, one of them will reach him and lead him back to me. Oh, it's actually kind of sad. <laughs> Thank you, young lady. I know I will. My body is healthy and full of hope and vigor. But just in case, if you do happen to see my twin, please give him this orange crest. I know I know it will lead him to me, uh, to him, him to me somehow. There we go, orange crest. We got you covered. Oranges with notes written on them. To my dear brother, Aragne Joe, I hope this message finds its way to you. Please come home. That's very sad. So is he like throwing parts of himself? Orange bed? Orange juice? Orange lantern? Orange-like creature? Blood orange. Ooh, okay. I'm a little listening. Blood orange, blood orange. Huh, is that an actual, um... Oh, I bet you that's Kel's thing, because Kel uses, like, round-shaped objects as weapons. Yeah. Alright, major juice. Speed goes way down. Mm, no, I think we need to speed up. But this does remind me, while we're here, we picked up a couple new skills. Uh, during the Humphrey fight. I can't recall if this was one of them or not. Um, do 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 hack away, lucky slice, mock, shun. Final strike. Strikes all foes, deals more damage if Amori has a higher stage of emotion. Which I'm guessing means like you can go from sad to depressed, or from angry to enraged, or um, what's the other one? Happy to ecstatic. Interesting. Um, so I guess that would that would lead us to me to believe that the the best thing to do would be to do painful truth twice, which would get us to two levels of sad, and then use final strike. I'm I'm willing to give it a try. We'll switch out this one for the exploit. We'll try it out. Aubrey, what do you have here? Um. Last Resort. Deals damage based on Aubrey's heart, but Aubrey becomes toast. It doesn't seem that great. Um, well, okay, so so does, does that mean her current heart? Like, right now she's at 242, but if she were at, like, say, 100, would it do 100, or is it, like, her total heart? Because it could be, like, if it was a guaranteed 242, if, like, she was very low health, she's probably going to go down in the next turn. This is a way for her to kind of, like, self-destruct in a way. That could be useful. But we've we've got such good um, healing. I just don't know if that's the one for us. So I'm going to say... I'm going to say no for now. And then somebody else got something new. I don't recall. Uh, let's see. Rally. We already had Tickle. It attacks all, uh, all attacks on a foe will hit right in the heart for the turn. Ooh. I like that one a lot, actually. Yeah. So basically, um, it's a guaranteed crit. I like that a lot, actually. Why don't we do that? So we've got, uh, angry, attack based on speed. 
tickle, and uh, an AoE, basically. Yeah, that's really good. I like that a lot. And then Hero, I can't recall if we got something new with him. Uh, let's see, Smile, do to do Charm, Mesmerize, Captivate, Share Food, Enchant, Dazzle. Yeah, none of those are really, really what we need for him. But yeah, that's that's great, um, great news for Kel. I think that I'm looking forward to trying that one out. All right, all seems to be in order down here. So this is just where Orange Joe lives. So with that, um, this is just somebody's house, right? Yeah, the wolf den or whatever it is. Uh, with that, I think we're ready to go into Dino's Dig, because there is a path that leads off to the right, but it looks like it goes pretty far, so I think I would rather see if there's any kind of quests that we pick up here that we might need to go. Actually, hang on one second. I did want to talk to the... to the... Dino Joe himself, or whatever, but he's way up top. Dino's Dig. Hang on a second, let's see if we can go around and talk to him. Maybe, maybe this is how you talk to him, because you certainly can't talk to him down there. Hello. There we go. Oh, peach soda. Oh, there's just something random behind there. That's interesting. How do we talk to you, buddy? What am I missing? Maybe, maybe we have to do it from inside somehow. Or I'm totally wrong. We'll see. Ooh, I love, I'm loving all the dinosaurs. Chad, the Triceratops. The food pyramid has a knack for finding lost things. Ancient artifacts. Old relics lost in time. The possibilities are endless. Thank you, Chad. Oh yeah, there's some relics here that I recognize. The, uh, the teddy bears, the, um, the sprout moles, the boom boxes, the, uh, whatchamacallit wheel from the the spaceship treasures on display here are from all over the world. I want to travel around the world someday. Indiana Artichoke. That's what we'll call you. Oh, nuts. I'm one dino dollar shy from a silver spoon. Is that like an expression or is that an actual form of currency? Nope. Can't talk to him like that. Hmm. It's okay, so we've got to figure out how to, how to fix that. Welcome to Dino Shop. According to my log, it says you have a total of zero dino, d dino dollars. If you want to buy a spoon, just point it out to me and I'll help you out. Okay, what are spoons used for? Plastic spoon, 10 digs for 3 dino dollars. Wooden spoon, 15 digs for 6. Or silver spoon, 20 digs for 10. I would like to, but I, I don't know uh, how does one get dino dollars. Let's talk to him. Hey there, little adventurers. Welcome to Dino's Dig. I'm Dino, the founder of Dino's Dig. Ahem. Are you hungry for treasure? Are you ready to have a spoonful of adventure? If so, you've come to the right place. Here at Dino's Dig, we have created the ultimate treasure hunting adventure, which you can experience for the low price of 100 clams. Are you ready to enjoy the fun and excitement of digging for treasure? I mean, I am, but I have no spoon, so... What the heck? 100, 100 clams. Dino-tastic. Okay. Well, good, I guess. Is it a problem that we have no spoon? All right, kiddos, first things first. Here at Dino's Dig, we dig with spoons. Since you don't have a spoon, I'll give you a potato spoon for free. <laughs> Great. Potato spoon, perfect. Choose which spoon you'd like to use. Potato spoon. There you go, right on, brother. You're a quick learner, aren't you? Not really, that was my only option. In our special dig site, the Food Pyramid, you'll be able to uncover super rad treasure from all over the universe. And the best part is, you keep anything you find. That's a dino guarantee. Let me tell you about our dig site. The Food Pyramid has four levels. You'll always start on the first level, but if you're lucky, you might just find a pyramid key that unlocks the pyramid gate to the next level. The higher you go, the better treasure will be. Now here's the catch. Each spoon has a limited amount of uses before it breaks. For example, potato spoons will break after you dig five times. If your spoon breaks, the treasure hunt ends, the pyramid gates close, and we will call you back to the entrance. 
You understand everything I've said so far? Sure do, champ. Dino-tastic. Now it's time for our Dino Disclaimer. Treasure isn't the only thing that you'll find in the food pyramid. During your round, you might find some troublesome critters looking for a fight. We aren't liable for any damages to you or your property during your adventure, you dig? If a critter knocks you out during a battle, it'll be a real game over. Well, that's pretty much it. All that's left for you to go is up these stairs, smell the sweet food pyramid air, and start digging. Have a dino-tastic adventure. Well, thank you. So, how does... How does one, uh... Like, like this, do we... Oh. Nope. Okay. That's a snake. Nope. Ooh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. Well, that was a little bit of a waste, huh? Let's just do some basic attacks. And, uh, heal up Kel. Let's just see how we do. Ooh, ouch. How much damage could he actually take, huh? Well, decent amount, actually. Alright, Aubrey. Beat him down. And, uh... Heal her up. Snake just hisses. There we go. One, two, three. That should do it. 2230 XP. Alright, that's a pretty decent amount of, uh, of XP. Alright, so how do we do this? We just go up to one of these things here. We got a dino dollar. Alright. For us. We got a dino dollar. We got three dino dollars. Chocolate. Alright, not really what we need. Dino dollar. And that's it. So back to the entrance we go. Big spoon down, that's game over. Did you find a lot of cool treasure? I hope you enjoyed your dino-tastic adventure. Well, I mean, we found some. How many dino dollars do we have? Uh... Plastic spoon for three dino dollars. We can afford that for sure. Sick choice. I hope you find lots of treasure. Thanks, champ. Oh, uh, do we have to pay a hundred clams each time we want to go inside? Sure. We'll do it one more time, and then I think we'll, uh, we'll take a break. I remember the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an expert. Thank you very much. So hopefully we uncover, uh, a good number of, um... Which spoon? We'll go plastic spoon, yeah. Hopefully we get enough dino dollars to kind of offset the, uh, the investment. Alright, there's that. Dino dollar, it's fine with me. I mean, there's really no rhyme or reason of where to check, I don't think, unless I'm, I'm missing something. We got bread. I guess that's good. We got ramen. Now, can we get away from these guys? Yeah. Alright, just not the snake for some reason. I wonder if it's a speed thing. Uh, let's go up top, I guess. Got a donut. Hot dog. So I wonder what happens if, um, you don't have enough dino dollars to buy a new, uh, a new spoon. You're just kind of out of luck. Oh, what? We found his pet rock. Oh, Hector. Could it be? It's really you. Come on, Hector. Back into my pocket you go. It'll be just like old times. Ah, Kel. <laughs> okay. I gotta find a, a good voice for Hector. <clears throat> He'll be French. <clears throat> ah, Kel. My old friend. I am so sorry. I am afraid things have changed, and I can no longer accompany you. You see, I have a family now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Hector Jr., what are you doing? Are you saying that you want to join them? 
and that there's more to life than just staying here. Oh, Hector Jr., I, I understand you well. Even this old stone knew how to have fun once. May you all have memorable adventures together. Go on and join him, Hector Jr. Into his pocket. Great, Hector Jr. Yeah, just like that. I guess this is farewell then. Thank you for never giving up on finding me, girl. Hector Jr., you be good, okay? Don't forget your family. We are always here for you. I hope that the next time we meet, you'll have flourished into a wonderful polished rock. Don't worry, Hector. I'll take good care of him. I know you will, Kel. Just don't lose him this all <laughs> this time, all right? I won't. I promise. Wow. Well, we that <laughs> that did allow us to finish a quest, actually. Believe it or not. So let's check it out. What do we What do we have? Where is Hector Jr.? Is he a um? Is he a charm? Or, uh... Okay, can talk, but is very shy. Stats increase with more energy. So it's a minor drop in speed. Increase in luck, increase in defense, increase in attack. Uh... Guess we'll hold off for now. I like where we're, where we're at for the moment. Alright, how many... How many digs do we have left? Let's let's wrap this up. We got fries. Great. Got another dino dollar. And another spoon bites the dust. Game over. Still no pyramid keys, huh? Yeah, it was alright. Alright, well I think with that guys, we're gonna take a break. Uh, boy, that was more eventful than I, um, you know, and totally different than I thought would be this episode. We uncovered the, uh, the orange utopia, we found, uh, the pet rock, and, um, some interesting personalities along the way. Hope, hope things work out for old Orange Joe. So thanks for watching guys. I guess more for, uh, what's this place called? Orange Country? Orange County? Orangetopia, whatever this is. Uh, more of that coming at you real soon. Thanks so much. Bye.